So you clicked on this video because you were trying to send your mate an insane clip. Discord said, not nope, get Nitro, and you said, not gonna happen. Or you were trying to send a file from your phone to your PC and you just couldn't figure out how to do it without first like sending it to your friend on Telegram and then going to your PC and downloading it and then saying, don't worry, I'm just sending it to myself. And you thought, I bet Mugs can help. Well, he can help. I mean, I can help. Okay, so let me introduce you to the wonderful world of file sharing, also known as cloud storage. So these are services that allow us to upload files, not just small files like the 50 megabyte limit on Discord, but absolutely massive files like multiple gigabyte giant videos. They're totally free, or at least the ones we're going to talk about are, and they're accessible on PC, Android, and iOS. All right, now that you know what they are, let's talk about the first one. So I use this one all the time to send myself clips from my phone to my PC, and it's incredibly easy to use. If you're on PC, you can use the website or the app to send and receive your files, but if you're on mobile, you'll have to use the app. So if you're on mobile and you don't want to get another app, maybe skip to the next one. Okay, so there are two main ways that you can send files on this one. One is using a code, which does not require an account. And the other is using a link, which does require an account. In my experience, I've found the code option to be much less reliable, particularly when sending files to other people. And I think this is just because it expires after 10 minutes and you have to keep the app open until the other person enters the code and downloads the file. So I often find that I have problems with it. Whereas the link option is much better if you're sending it to other people because it uploads immediately and then you can just close it and they can click the link whenever they want. But anyway, the process of how to use this one is incredibly straightforward, so here's a quick demo. Before we get into the next section, a huge shout out to ExpressVPN. If you've ever wanted to play games in a different region or browse the web securely, ExpressVPN is how you do it. Hey, that's a good idea. I can tell you from experience it 100% works and the ping's actually decent too. Wow, great ping. And right now, every single Mogs viewer is going to get a huge discount of 3 months off all 12 month subscriptions, meaning it just got a whole lot cheaper for you to jump into a different region and destroy your opponents over there. Yay! You can play with daddy! So go check out ExpressVPN via the link on screen and in the video description. All right, the next file sharing service we're going to talk about is WeTransfer. So this one honestly may be the easiest and most convenient one since you can use the app or the web version on both PC and mobile. The only real downside is that there are some strict limits on how much you can use it as a free user. The limits are share and receive up to 3 gigabytes per month. You can do 10 transfers per month and you can set the transfer expiry limit up to 3 days. So yeah, this one is really best if you're just doing a few fairly small transfers every month. And here's a quick demo of how to use it.
All right, and the last one I'm gonna show you in this video is Google Drive. So this is one that most of you should be familiar with, at least by name, but it is a little bit more complicated to use than the other two. The big advantage that this one has over the other two is that this one's actually designed for long-term file storage. So it has features like being able to create folders, as well as to set restrictions on who can access the files. But this one's great because you can use it as like a collaboration space with your friends, or you can just use it to send files to other people or to yourself really quickly. All right, so the biggest thing I wanna show you with Google Drive is how to share the files with your friend. So the default setting after you upload a file is that you actually need to enter the email address of the person you want to share it with. If you don't enter the email address, then when you send them the link, they will have to actually request access, which will send you an email, and then you have to go to your email and grant that access to them. It's really annoying, and there's a much easier way to do it. So after you upload your file, you want to then change the share options to be anyone with the link. Then when you send them the link, all they need to do is click on it, and they'll immediately have access. So to do this on PC, you can just click these three dots, then share, share again, and then change this option to anyone with the link. Then you just copy the link and send it to your friend. And on mobile, it can be done by again, tapping the three dots, then manage access, then change this option again to anyone with the link, and tap this button to copy the link. And that's it, that's how you use Google Drive. And that's it guys, that is my video about how to share files on Discord. This is a problem I run into all the time as a creator. I'm constantly trying to send and receive files to and from people. And a lot of people don't know how to use these file sharing sites. And so they try to send it on Discord, which reduces the quality, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I really hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, hit the like button. If it wasn't, the dislike button, that's totally fine. Let me know down in the comments if you wanna see any other videos on this kind of same topic or other things that might make your life easier online. And as always guys, come join the Mogs Discord server if you wanna hang out with me and other Mogs viewers, as well as get the chance to participate in any of my videos. And thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.